Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where we break down international level tactics and strategies for things that you can use in your own match. Today we're watching another fight of Jun Seo Bay. Uh, he, he did win the match. I had, this is my first time watching it. It was recommended to me, so I figured I'd take a look. Now, if you guys are new, Jun Seo Bay is a shorter guy winning in a taller man sport. So that's like if you're going one on one against Kobe Bryant and you're 5'4 and you're still winning. He's really good. He's been dominant for a long time. He's won world championships who knows how many times. And you can tell by the height difference here. He's he's winning a tall, a tall man's sport as a shorter person. So I'm going to be breaking down how and why. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Coach Chris. I was on the Philippine national team for seven, eight years. Um, I've fought AAU, uh, made an AAU national team. My highest world rank achieved was 23. I've been to a couple world championships. And what I do specifically is I just break down strategies and tactics that you can use in your own match because if you're looking for how to cut kick, how to do well, this kick, how to do that kick, I'm not the channel for that. I'm here for strategy, how to use those weapons in warfare. Good pressure. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, Jun Dubi here from Tunisia. Uh, what I think is one of the top six world rank fighters. Jin Seo, I think, is reigning number one, even with his height. Nice punch. So in this first couple iterations, as I was talking, hopefully you're watching the match down here. Jin Seo's crushing or crashing with that front leg as always, eating up and occupying that front space in front of the taller fighter, so that way he can sneak in. In this case, for his punch, I'm expecting to see some follow up to the body in a little bit. Yeah. He's using a lot of that front leg to close the distance, tie up the uh, taller person's front leg there. And then once that front leg has been dealt with, now he's in his range, so he's trying to maximize. Good try there. Oops, score to the body. Trying to get those points inside as always. Hmm, I don't see a clear winning strategy here. I assume he's going to go front leg axe soon because he's been setting up that front leg stuff. Nice job by Tensinia using his range. Tensinia not so active in the clinch. Maybe he doesn't want to go one on one with a smaller guy in the clinch. Makes sense because his kicks aren't as effective. Closing the distance, which is good. I like how Korea's closing the distance here, but he's going to need to follow up and change uh, level. He's been kicking to this body repeatedly. He needs to switch that up, go to the head sometimes. Using that front leg to crash. Okay, lands the punch. They scored a lot more of that front hand punch now in modern Taekwondo. So if you guys are trying to use it, doing the way Jun Seo here, that front leg crash right into the punch, excellent way to do it. However, Tunsin, yeah, obviously adjusting. He just got scored on that. He's not going to do it twice in a row. He's not a scrub. Tunsin, yeah, doing tall man things. Keep him at range. Try and use that long range kick at range while the other guy can't do anything about it. And those are just the, the uh, cards in his deck. Stuff he can play. Okay. Fall up to the body. Trying to get through. Clashing a lot. One for one. Jensei now switching legs. He used to only be using his uh, his left. Now he's switching left and right. Giving different looks. I almost want to say he's using this first round just to gauge to see because at this taller at these higher levels you don't know what kind of weapons are developing between each person so i think jenseo may have been using this front nice now you can see him's opening his, his game is opening up now he's not just crashing with that with that front leg um ooh. he's not just crashing with that front leg punch i think he was using this round to gauge did tunsinia did jindubi did jindubi create any new weapons that i should be worried about did he is anything in store that he's he he didn't bring last time we fought or he didn't bring to the last tournament and he's he's brought in for this tournament is he and he's trying to just use that first round to feel that out looks like all the weapons are stuff okay we've already checked he has this front leg we've already checked he does this in the clinch we've already checked he does this kind of spin okay cool everything's checking out to what our film uh, people have been saying to what we've been studying okay now we can start opening up the game there's no new surprises we're gonna have to watch out for same jindubi we've been fighting good now i think this is where i could probably imagine jinsei is going to start opening his game like he did in the last 30 seconds of that last round we're good and for those of you who are newer fighters like a good he's still crap he's still bringing into that punch those of you who are newer fighters um one make sure you can score on your own like i wouldn't worry about hiding weapons yet 
just worry about if you're especially if you're super new just get a feel for being in a tournament get a feel for being in range get a feel for being in uh the fight mode getting used to throwing your kicks getting used to throwing your distance or throwing your using your distance at uh someone who has you haven't fought before if you're more intermediate that's when you could start game planning start trying to implement your weapons more often and then at the highest levels that's that's where people are starting to hide the techniques where it's like okay i have this spin back kick which is freaking deadly uh, but let's not pull it out first round. Maybe we're going to save that for the end of the second round kind of deal. Surprise them, get a plus four without them being able to respond or counter it, that kind of thing. Jinsei is still breaking that front leg. Okay, he's coming in with the axe now too. Good follow-ups coming in, and he's able to able to block. Nice punch. So you see, it's the same strategy as first round. For those of you who are small fighters, you need to occupy that front space. You you, need, you have to either cross that that distance because you have he has longer range and you. you need to cross that distance fast so that way he can't counter you or you need to do what he's doing get your leg up there in, in the space make sure it's high enough to block for your face cover the ground using your leg so that way ooh, very nice by jindu be here cover that ground quickly and covered so that way you can get in without getting scored on and then you can go to work where your maximum distance is uh i guess it's a racer for holding no point for holding. There you go. Jin Dubi now trying to avoid being in the clinch or exchanging. Okay, he's trying to put the pressure against Jin Seo. Jin Seo is happy to close the distance and go toe to toe. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A little bit of judo. Whoops. Yeah, that's that's not intentional. It's all good. They all know. They all know. It's just in the clinch fighting. Jindubi has to find something against that front hand punch. It's it's he's short axe kick, short cut kick, like a Yunta style cut kick where it's very short and chambered when he comes in, so you can just shoot it out quick. Those kind of things can work against a punch. Maybe even jump back kick from or a back kick from that stance would be good. But you're probably gonna hit his oh the, the back kick. But I was gonna say you, he might not be able to hit it because that front leg of Jinseo is so across and so high. It's hard to hard to get past that thing. It's like running in with a spart like a giant Spartan shield. Essentially, with Jinseo's leg here, hard to get past it. Well, he's trying for a he's trying for a back kick, and it's a three point. I mean, these these kind of points, I'm not gonna break down too much because Jindu he's is kind of forfeited the round, so we'll try again next round. I'm the round is one one is round superiority. We'll just see if anything goes through here. Probably not. Saving it for the next round. Actual score probably like five zero. Three of those three, I think two or three of those are punches though. So. Don't sleep on your punches, guys. Front hand punch. It's viable here. Okay. I'm thinking if he can't get around it, he has to do a short cut or a short axe. He also doesn't seem to be following up too much after that initial cut. We got one, two. There you go. There you go. Now axe kick. Something in the face. Change levels. So what I'm saying here is, okay. Changing levels and changing targets. He goes body, body, body 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 it's you it should be there should be some kind of head kick in there obviously i'm like armchair quarterbacking this so this is i i could say ideas all i want and i'm not actually in the ring so it's probably a lot harder to do or hard to think about when you're actually in there okay keep him away good i'd like to see Jin, Jin Dubi though, uh, this player from Tanzania, follow up a little bit more after his kick. After he does one, he knows Jin Seo is going to stay there, the Korean. Why don't you follow up a little bit to the body? Boom, flick to the face. Boom, back leg. Something after that initial cut. Though it seems like that that's probably where the opening is going to be. Uh, fast forward a little bit. Okay, whoop. Jin Seo, excellent closing the distance, finding the gap inside. And the reason this is working, I mean... This is where we're 45 seconds into this match or into this round. And Jin Seo has been kicking to the body a lot. And the reason he's still winning matches, even though he's not scoring these first 45 seconds, is because he's he's even though he's not initially scoring, he's staying in the in the distance. That's ooh, nice job by Jin Dubi here. Front leg. Oh, he gave it right back though. But the reason he's scoring so much and he's winning is because he maximizes the amount of time he's in his optimal scoring area, which for him is really close. So if you know 
what scenario you're really good at scoring in, try and set up those scenarios over and over and over again. It sounds obvious, but a lot of players just kind of fight blind. They don't really think about how am I getting this guy? How am I... Uh, how is it that I'm scoring more often than this dude? What, what areas is this guy weak? Okay, how can I stay in that zone more often so I can score more and more points? Um, for those of you who don't know what's happening on screen, they're doing a video replay. That's how the scores happen now, or how the replays happen now. Contesting the head kick, because they, they, want, they want to say the head kick, I think, was after the break, but seems like it wasn't awarded. Boom, right, and, and follow up, and follow up. That's what I'm trying to say. After Jinjubi cuts, he should be maybe trying to go to the body. Or boom, flick to the face. Something. Finally coming back with his own. Okay. Crushing the distance right away. As soon as it resets, he closes. He, he gets in there. Gets his foot up. Closes the distance. Good try. Good try by Jinjubi there. Trying inverted kick. Motions. Fakes. Good. The other option for Jim Doobie is to motion and then slide back first as he's coming in because you can only hold that leg pump for three, three, um, three hops. So if it's one, two, and th and you can only retreat three times or two times. So one, two to get in. You move back one. He has to put it down, and you still have another slide back. So you could technically avoid it that way too. It's a little bit harder to catch. Not all the refs call it, but it's a way to do it. Nice punch. I mean, Jim Doobie doesn't have an answer for this front hand punch. So I mean. Jinsei Obey is just throwing down. Korea is just throwing it down, uh, throwing down his throat. Nice little inside kick here. Boom, boom. He has no answer for that. Nice follow up there. Uh, what are you going to do? Closing distance right away. Good job by Jindubi. Expecting him to put it down using that inverted kick. Follow up, boom. Oh, nice shot with the back hit because he's going to close. Okay. Two points, making the difference here. Okay. Follow up, you need to extend. He's expecting Jensei to close on him. He's trying to land that back kick. Oh, he knows it's coming. He's just going to back out. That's the match. Yeah, okay, so that's the match. 11, 11, 8. Uh, I don't think, unless a miracle happens. No, that's it, yeah. These guys fight each other all the time. So, I mean, not too big of a deal for either of these players. It's not like one was a underdog, major underdog. These are both very experienced, very veteran players. So the things, key takeaways from Jin Seo are to, if you're a shorter fighter, you have to find a way to close the distance quickly. And be, that's because if you're both tall, right, or if he's taller than you and you're shorter, he, there's range where he can hit you and you can't do anything, which means you have zero opportunity to score. So Jin Seo closes that distance with his leg up, high and tight so it's not just some kind of low kick low low cut kick high and tight so it's like a giant spartan shield that he's running in with that blocks or intercepts any kind of kick the taller player has uh especially for jin Dubi, uh the tanzania player here so he gets in and then that's where he either lands a punch if there's a clash the guy can't really do anything he lands his front hand punch because he has momentum or when the foot comes down that's when he's falling up to the body he's trying to go to the face he didn't go to the face quite as often or as i've seen him do other times but still got still got it down anyway for tunsania uh, jindubi obviously still a good player i would say after those cuts after those long range uh kicks sometimes jinsei would just slide back no response i think following up in that time right after the kick is paramount would have maximized his time at maximum range more opportunity for him to score and who knows maybe turn it around um, that's it for today guys a little quick video hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and i'll see you guys next time